All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sisters of you too. This is Pastor Dow. You know, let me broad stroke this thing just for a second and let me bring out a few vital points to, to help you to understand um, that Pastor Dow thinks outside of the box. I don't think like uh, normal, everyday uh, people would think or would have us to think because most people like to manipulate our minds, they like to manipulate our conscience. Um, and they will use anything, anything to forward their particular agenda. For instance, you know, in the political arena, in the political realm, there's a such thing as um, called the left and the right. Uh, it's called Democrats and the Republicans. Now, we all know amidst the gun violence that has actually taken place um, in South Carolina, well, one lone white man, notice, one lone white man took it upon himself to go into a church, sit there for an hour, and then after that, he made the choice and decision, but whether be he a sociopath, a psychopath, or demonically inspired, either way it goes, it was his choice, it was his decision, and he chose to actually snuff out the life of nine people, and it just happened to be nine black people. Racial tensions are running real high in this country, and of course, the powers that be would love for you all to bite the fruit of lies. And, and many people know that most of you are controlled by feelings and emotions rather than fact. You know, it's no secret that I talk about the county that I live in, Lafayette, Tennessee, is because uh, nobody ever says anything, nobody ever condemns the heinous acts that are perpetuated against the minority in this county. And when I say minority in this county, we are less than 0.1% in this county um, and, and yet and still everybody champions themselves as people of holiness righteousness and truth now I'm dealing with a total different type of racism because it's a soft form it's the kind where the people smile at you but they really truly uh, don't care anything about you they're not gonna run to your rescue I understand that and, and neither is it important for them to actually condemn these acts nobody in the political arena whatsoever at all and it's just a literal sad shame it's a sad, sad shame. But, and I will state again, that while uh, these heinous acts of racism are perpetuated against us, and I live in a, uh, uh, a county that is 99.9% .9 dominated by Caucasians, uh, Europeans, yet I am under no illusion at all that everybody in Lafayette, Tennessee, has the same sentiment or feelings of racism. Matter of fact, uh, the people that I closely deal with, whether it be business or, or just a, a local trading or friendships that, or whatsoever at all, we develop over a period of time neighborhood. Uh, those people don't share those sentiments. But as a whole, because of the attitude of a select few and because of um, I mean, I have white people that actually attend my church from this county right here and their husbands never, ever, ever stop at dropping the nigger word to their wives about their pastor. It's utterly amazing. Um, and this is the sentiment of this county, whether you like it or not. But again, everybody does not share these opinions in this county. But it does condemn them as a whole because nobody is stepping forth and condemning the acts. Nobody is stepping forth and saying, I disagree with all of the racism and all that, that is going forth. Now, listen to me very closely. The left is going to definitely use this as an agenda to, again, look, the guns are the evil and the guns are the fault. You know, uh, amazing. I have never in my life seen a firearm jump up off a table and kill anyone. You know, and I'm going to show you the mindset that we operate in. Now, listen to this. People make choices and decisions all the time to drink and to drive. And there are a lot of people that are killed on these roads. A lot of people that are maimed and injured for life on these highways because someone chooses to drink and drive. Now watch this. Nobody ever go and blame. They never go and blame Audi. They never blame BMW. They never blame Toyota. They never blame Ford. They never blame Chevrolet or Nissan because of those evil vehicles, those evil cars. We've got to do something about getting rid of these damn cars that keeps taking people lives. You never hear that, do you? You never hear that. So what these people are doing is they're juggling concepts. What these people are doing is they're playing on your emotions, they're playing on your feet, and they're really truly banking on you responding after emotion rather than facts. For instance, this shooter 
uh, of these people said that he wanted a race war. You know, the one thing about this guy, at least he comes right out and tell you exactly what he wants and, and what his agenda was. But, you know, the disturbing part is these people who have it in their heart and they never tell you that that's what's really, truly going on. Some of us are just simply not blind. Um, but, you know, I, I, I tell you, I think that it's, it is idiotic and stupid uh, for people to turn around and condemn uh, a particular people of a nationality because of the heinous acts of one person. Not only is it nonsensical, um, but it's the heightened sense of stupidity that can't even be measured in the day and hour and time we're living in. Um, people make choices and people make decisions, no matter what their color is or their background. Um, sure, some crimes are known, for instance, um, in, in, in the black community, if I can use those terms and be pure, in the black community, the majority of crimes that take place with them usually has to do with some form of economic policy, something economics. Um, it has to do with either drugs or, or, or some type of things to be able to gank money. Uh, in the white community, if I can use those terms and be pure, the majority of the heinous crimes takes place uh, with just outright brutality. Um, you know, eating people, uh, chopping them in half and massacring them and stuff and uh, uh, going into post offices and stuff and just opening up fire on people and just killing everybody for no reason at all. You know, if a black person has a crime or something done against them, they usually go right after that person. But if a white person overall, I'm just talking about overall, I'm not painting a broad brush. You just listen to me and stop with the nonsensical arguments and stop with the disparaging comments and the stupidity and wake the hell up out of this matrix that you in. Maybe, just maybe, you can begin to see what's going on. Maybe. But then overall, as the whites and stuff, it, you know, if something go wrong with them, they want to go and shoot and kill everything body instead of the person that's actually perpetuating evil against them. It's just crazy what's going on. Uh, that's just like there's certain diseases that's conducive to certain ethnic backgrounds. It's just a fact. Um, and there ain't no need in just sticking your head in the sand and not addressing these issues or trying to ignore these things and act like that they're not there. They are there, they're real, and they take place. Um, but you ain't going to get me to be sucked in and bite off on this race war because I clearly see what's going on and what the powers that be, whoever they are. And I know who the powers that be are. You're not going to get me to bite off on all this junk. Um, and I don't understand for the life of me. Uh, it, it's known fact. It's a known fact um, that I'm a, a, a black pastor. That's what they call me, a black pastor in this country. And I have a very diverse group of people that fellowship and support the ministry. Very diverse group. Um, and while people, they want to continually keep tout me as a racist, which is all but laughable and stuff, I always tell them, go to my website, www.straightwaytruth.com, and you tell me how racist I am. Um, and we have a very educated, a very educated um, community, a very educated people, informed people. Am I in the ministry across this world? And I love each and every last one of them. So if you want to bite off on the stupidity of... Uh, trying to say that somebody's evil because of the color of their skin. You go out and have fun, have at it and stuff, but you're going to deserve exactly what you get. <clears throat> and you know, a mist of this, and, and excuse me, I need to add this on. I'm sorry, but I really truly need to add this on. I heard a few comments by Barack Hussein Obama, who is propaganda driven, and most of you people are just so blind you can't see it. This booger is worse than Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson. <laughs> hey, you know why? Because in his speech, you know what he does, right? You know what he does? He condemns guns because somebody was able to get their hand on a gun. Sooner or later, we're going to have to come to grips. Yeah, sooner or later, you need to come to grips. Unless this country, you want to end up like England and Australia and a lot of other the European colonies or countries in this world where um, evil is just on a, I mean, a, a horizon past the, the crime rate of Chicago. Man, you, you, oh, I tell you, those, those guns, those guns, you know, look, 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 look. I'm out in a public venue, in public forum right now. And here is my firearm. Watch this. I'm going to set this thing down. And I'm going to see if this gun here, we're going to sit here for a few seconds. I'm going to see if this gun commits a violent act of racism. There's a white man right there that just pulls up in the truck. There's a white woman behind me right there. And you know what? I'm going to see if this gun commits, commits a violent act of racism and shoot these white people to death.
Well, so far, my gun hasn't jumped up off this seat and killed anybody yet. Hold on for a second. Hold on. Now, look at here. Gun. I'm offended by the people in this county, and I want you to do something about it. I want you to do something about it. You know, it's amazing how in this country <laughs> that that since since guns are the problems, that, that, that we don't have a prison for guns. <laughs> I mean, after all, shouldn't we lock these these things up <laughs> for committing all these heinous acts and crimes? Man, I tell you, see, it's comical. It's stupid from the word go. It's just literally stupid. Guns are nothing more than an instrument and a tool, which, if in the wrong hand, can be used. Just like a knife, just like these, these three and four thousand pound, uh, five thousand pound vehicles. Uh, every single day, trucks on, on the highway here in Tennessee, uh, semis, they kill. Uh, right now, we have already surpassed um, the amount of deaths where people were being murdered on Tennessee highways last year by the trucking industry, which is protected by Congress because they're a corporation, the majority of corporations. And, and, and many of those truckers, they never get prosecuted. They can kill people and they never get prosecuted. Um, and the corporations protect themselves from their own actual truck drivers. It's just utterly amazing what goes on. Um, but it's utterly amazing. But you go out here in one of these vehicles right here, you don't get the same thing because you're not represented by a corporation. You kill somebody in one of these vehicles, even if it was just something that it was an innocent accident and stuff, you going to jail. You going to damn jail. You better believe in this stuff. So these things can be used as weapons. Anything can be used as a weapon. But no, no, the agenda of the left and these chaotic psycho psychopath mind people want to make you think that this gun is the is the issue and a troubling problem and again again i have not seen this gun even in the midst of this video commit a heinous act of violence against anyone yet